see once again the resonance sharpness of the resonance we, we know what is resonance now what is resonance what is the definition of resonance can anyone say that so it is the phenomena uh, or it is the tendency to oscillate at a particular frequency which is called natural frequency yeah very good the, it is the it is the phenomena of resonance is a tendency to oscillate at a particular frequency called natural frequency that is scientific resonance or the uh, frequency if the, the frequency of the driver and the driven both are same that is said to be the that is said to be the uh, resonance frequency they both oscillate with the natural frequency now so because of that only we are able to uh, listen to the songs in the radio okay the frequency of the incoming uh, frequency which is from the radio station and the frequency of the circuit which is present in the radio so if the both the frequencies match then only resonance takes place and you will be able to listen to the song now next one is here uh, here what happens on x axis we have angular frequency and the y axis we have the current what happens as the frequency we are increasing so what happens the uh, as you, as we are increasing the frequency current becomes maximum again it starts decreasing as the frequency is increasing current also increases and again starts decreasing okay that particular point at which it is happening is known as resonance frequency this this particular frequency is known as resonance frequency in museum this frequency is known as mu uh, omega omega naught okay omega naught is said to be the resonance frequency is it clear omega naught is said to be the resonance frequency okay so we think that as we are increasing the frequency we can uh, the resonance frequency also will increase no at a particular frequency it happens if you increase more than that it will again come down you can literally you can do this experiment in your radio now you have fixed the radio stations right like in your in your car you have a radio everyone has a radio is it not you can do this experiment everyone everyone has a radio in your car so we have fixed the stations 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 for one station 1 2 for like that but suppose think that you remove that uh, you don't you don't go with that one you have one more controller yeah station controller is it not like a knob will be there you rotate that knob and station you can change the stations right is it there do you know that one there is a yes, knob yes yeah, sir which can control the stations now mm -hmm. so when, yeah like that no there is a fixed station mm -hmm. now you are increasing now like a scale you have that scale like i need that one for that a headphone you need okay so like like there will be scale like this okay like uh, you know there will be scale like this on a station okay there are like suppose you are this is station number 1 station number 2 when you are going from now this is the resonance this is the resonance frequency okay now what happens here you are you are started from here started from here at, at this station what happens the song will be very clear as you are approaching to the station it is clear but when you are leaving the station again it will again the song is not clear did you experience this any time yes yes sir you know, yes sir yeah yes you still do this experiment in your car today also okay just you use that knob and just move that knob okay so at particular frequency as you are coming closer to the station slowly your your song will be clear and clear and what at one particular point it's completely clear again when you are increasing it it will start coming down is that clear so that is said to be resonance frequency now You know the resonance frequency. What is the formula for resonance frequency? Omega zero equal to what? One by under root of L C. Is that clear? Omega zero is equal to one by root L C. And we have the formula. What is the what is the formula? I M is the maximum current. The maximum current is what? B M by R or B M by Z. Okay, whatever it is, you can write the same. Now, so we have uh, now <coughs> greater than. So what happens? so this is said to be the bandwidth the bandwidth what is bandwidth first of all i will explain that bandwidth is bandwidth this definition is not clear in any book okay this i took from some other book the proper definition okay the range of available frequencies range of uh, available frequencies this is a simple definition to understand what is bandwidth range of available frequencies okay range of available frequencies is known as bandwidth simple way to make you understand nowadays at this a lot of people they will say sir you have a offer like you can now you can use uh, 100 gb 100 mb bandwidth yeah or 10 10 mb or 10 gb like that you know the bandwidth of the signal did they call you any time like they will they, this is a the plan they will tell you yeah the plan is like 10 mb 10 mbps 
Yeah. 20 Mbps, 50 Mbps, 100 Mbps. Okay, that's a plan. What is it exactly? There's a range of available frequencies. The more the bandwidth, the faster will be the internet. Bandwidth is a general term. This can be applied everywhere. This can be applied for the circuit. This can also be applied for the, for the communication also. If it is communication, we say Mbps. Uh, that is Mb megabytes, megabytes per second. But if it is only limited to the circuit, then see, this is the bandwidth. Suppose from here, I'm taking from here to here. This is my bandwidth. From here to here, I was able to at least listen to the song. But at this point, I was able to listen properly. Is it not? From here, I started, I started, uh, you know. Sir, we can't hear you. You're not able to hear me? Sir, I can hear you. Okay. Uh, do one thing. Uh, leave the meeting and then rejoin again. Let us. Yes, sir. <clears throat> To restart the computer also in that case. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, K, KBPS also. We have we have this no MBPS, MBPS, KBPS. Okay. Mm -hmm. KBPS, kilobits per kilobits per second, megabits per the second. Yeah, the phone is also having the frequency. Yeah, everyone. Mm -hmm. ah, that's a circuit, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, that's for 0 0.3 KBPS, yeah. That's the internet speed, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we have that speed for generally for uh, you know uh, for uh, wireless communication it will be less, but for physical communication it will be more. For for a uh, router also it will be more. For router it is more, and for if you are using landline that is okay, but for if you are using for phone it will be little less. Okay, the speed will be less. Now, uh, the bandwidth means suppose you can suppose you you started moving your pointer. Okay, your start your uh, you know knob. Okay. Suppose there are uh, two stations, one, two, three. You started moving the st uh, moving your knob from here. You started moving in this way. Okay. So from one particular point to this point, it was maximum. But again, here also you are able to hear the song, but it was not clear. You are able to hear the song here, but it was not clear. But at this point, it was very crystal clear. Again, when you started increasing, again it started like up to this point you are able to hear. After that, you lo lose that signal. Is that clear? Is that clear with you all? Yes, sir. Yes, Mr. Abid. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. So that that is known as a bandwidth. That is a range. From this range, from this point to this point, you are able to listen to the song. At least listen to the song. But at one point, it is completely clear. So that is said to be range of available frequency. That is said to be the bandwidth. Then there is a formula. What is that one? Okay. So here we will take omega one and omega two. Okay. Here I will take. Uh, here I will take omega. Uh, omega 1, this is omega 2. Is it clear now? I'm, I am taking omega 1 and omega 2. Where here, omega omega 1 is less than omega 0 and omega 2 is greater than omega 0. Is it clear now? Is it clear? Yeah. So yes, if sir. we can understand this, you will understand the bandwidth of optical fibers. This is a general term. Once you understand this concept, you can understand many things. The How the communication works. What's the bandwidth of the bandwidth of the signals? Okay. So whenever you take any connection in future, also not here, here it is fixed. Okay. But if you are taking any internet connection in India or anywhere, so you have to ask what is the bandwidth of the uh, signal? Then they will tell you, yeah, it is uh, this many Mbps or this many, the more the bandwidth, more will be the speed of the internet. Okay. Is that clear? Now, so here we have, uh, we have omega, omega two minus omega one. What is, what is here, this, this value is delta, delta omega. Is that clear? And this value is also delta omega. Is this clear all of you? Delta, this distance is delta omega. This also is delta omega. Yes, sir. Now, now what we are writing? Omega, omega one equal to what? Omega, omega one is, uh, omega one is equal to uh, omega zero plus, plus delta omega. Yeah, omega two, I think. That is omega. Omega two is equal to what? Omega zero. Omega. Sorry, this should be omega two, and this should be omega one minus delta omega. Is it clear now? Omega two is equal to omega zero. Then uh, omega two minus omega one. Okay. See here, what will happen? Omega two minus omega one equal to what? Omega zero plus delta omega minus minus omega zero minus of minus become plus okay so this and this will go away 
omega 2 minus omega 1 equal to what? 2 delta omega. 2 delta omega is it is the bandwidth. Okay. Here, 2 delta omega. Did you understand this? See, omega 2 is equal to what? Omega 2 is greater than omega 0. And omega 1 is less than omega 0. The difference is delta omega. From the, the difference is delta omega from the resonance frequency. Now, omega 2 you wrote and omega 1 you wrote. Subtract both of them to get the bandwidth. So, 2 delta omega. Okay. 2 delta omega is known as the bandwidth of the circuit. Is this clear? Bandwidth of the circuit. 2 delta omega is equal to the bandwidth of the circuit. This type of question also will be asked in any entrance examination. One of the important questions in the entrance examination. Now, uh, sir, I you... have a doubt. Yeah, tell me. Uh, sir, in uh, omega 1, why do we subtract? And in omega 2, why do we add? See, what is like... omega Omega 1? Omega 1 is less than omega 0, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So, if I want omega 1, I have to, for, suppose this is 10. This is, suppose this is 0.7 and this is 1. I'll take 0.5. Okay, better. Now, this is 1. If I want to, if I want to get uh, 1, what I have to do? Uh, sorry, I, I have to get 0.5. That is 1 minus 0.5. We'll yes, get 0.5, right? Now, if I want to yes, get, sir. if I want to get this value, 1 plus 0.5, the difference is 0.5. 1 plus 0.5 is 1.5. Understood? Yes, sir. So, that is how the bandwidth is calculated. Now, so what is the sharpness, measure of sharpness of resonance? Omega 0, omega 0 by 2 delta omega is known as measure of sharpness of resonance. Measure of sharpness of resonance. Measure of sharpness of resonance. What is omega 0? Can you tell me what is omega 0 here? Omega 0 is? Yes, anyone? What is omega zero? Sir, omega zero is a. Uh, what frequency? Sir, so mm. one. Resonance frequency. No, no. Yeah. Normally, what is what is what what mm. it denotes what? Resonance frequency. Resonance frequency. And what is two delta omega? What is two two delta omega? Bandwidth. Yeah, bandwidth of the circuit. So if you are dividing the resonance frequency to the bandwidth of the circuit, that will give the sharpness of the resonance. Is that clear? Is that clear? So if you are so you are, how how will it give the sharpness of the resonance? Sharpness what of the resonance means if I want to find out <coughs> sharpness of the resonance. See how sharp is the see that this is like you know the signal is uh, like at a particular frequency starting and at a particular frequency is ending, right? So if you yes. take one is the bandwidth, one is the this is this is telling you the bandwidth. How sharp is that? Means how sharp it is rising? How sharp it is rising? That will give the resonance. Like, you know, what is a slope? Yeah. You, you know, what is a slope, right? Like, slope yes, is equal sir. to y to minus y1. Same thing. Is that clear? Oh, okay, sir. Yeah, got it. Got it, no? So, so we don't say slope. Instead of saying slope, we are saying measure of sharpness of the resonance. Okay. So, what happens? If the, if the delta omega is very, very small, that means what? Or narrow, sharper is the resonance. Okay. If... Suppose if uh, if delta omega if delta omega right yeah if delta omega if delta omega is small or narrow is small or narrow sh uh, sharp is the sharper is the resonance okay sharper is the resonance is that clear sharper sharper is the resonance can you tell me where do we use this type of situations? Where do we use this type of situation? You know, uh, the when you buy a, a musical instruments, like which have a keyboard or uh, the uh, guitar or not guitar, Get but uh, you know, digital nowadays, like recording, you know, recording stations mm -hmm. where they record the songs and all. And yes, they, sir. They have very fine, you know, frequencies, you know, like there are so many buttons or so many knobs, like. Earlier, you know what you earlier the TV used to now what is happening? We have a control for the TV. We have a control to increase the volume and decrease the volume, right? Yes. Like we have bits like one, two lines will be there. So the lines will become blue or uh, red, something like that. So more that one, the sound will automatically increase. 
but the in olden days there is used to be tv which used to have a knob to increase the volume and decrease the volume got it now we are doing the same thing digitally but earlier we used to do it uh, earlier we used to have a knob like this or we used to have a something to slide on the scale so what used to happen suddenly if there are some bits on the on which it is going once it increases suddenly the sound will become more if it spoils got it like you know old when people are talking on the mic suddenly the sound will rise did you notice this one in the olden in the olden days uh, like when you are now also sometimes if the if the mic system is very old what happens when when the speaker is talking on the mic suddenly it will rise the sound will rise did you notice this one a sharp sound will come yes sir yeah that is that is because maybe the maybe the you know the bandwidth the bandwidth is very very sharp and it is spoiled understood like it's like a mechanism okay like we have mechanism they are adjusting like this okay they are increasing the volume like this suppose if it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay so what will happen maybe they have fixed the volume to this one so what happens sometimes that that volume is spoiled that part is that uh, point is spoiled so what happens they will adjust to some other point got it is it clear all of you yes sir yes sir yeah so this is this is yes. what uh, is narrow so generally in uh, radio in music uh, systems the it is very very narrow they why they keep it narrow because every every one has a different frequency every note has a different frequency so that is the reason clear so now now we will go to the next one what is that uh, sharpness of the resonance is also given by the formula for how to calculate the sharpness of the resonance so uh, will you take a picture then we can go ahead yes sir we are doing our job <clears throat> is this clear all of you this concept is something new okay no this is a, if delta omega is small or narrow uh, sharper is the resonance okay sharper is the resonance okay now we'll go ahead now next one 